Hi, welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com As you can see I've got a beautiful large black um, pommes frites fish Tail has been taken off, been descaled really nicely and been cleaned, so it's been cleaned all inside Bit of a whopper this one, as you can see also I've taken off that thin there and a little bit underneath Big boy this one is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut him up and I'm going to make two dishes from this because this is far too big just for one dish I'll be back when I've sliced her up. Okay, as you can see, this has been sliced beautifully. There's a lot of meat around the head. I'm not actually using the whole head in this, but some people do. There's plenty of meat around that top head part. Beautifully fleshy. And nice and clean like I say this is far too much for what I want to do so I'm gonna make two dishes I use 50% for this one let's get going okay so the first we're gonna do is make a marination for our fish oh there you go look, there's a lovely bunch of fresh coriander then here I've got some chili powder cumin powder and coriander powder roughly equal parts some salt and some haldi or turmeric and then here I've got some fresh green chilli and plenty of garlic along with, oh sorry not garlic, ginger, along with some chopped onions. In fact there is no garlic in this dish at all. So let's give this a little whiz up then we're going to add our coconut to that as well. I've got a coconut here which I'm lucky enough to have so I'm going to crack that open take the water out, the coconut milk, and then scrape out the middle. But if not, you can just use a regular tin of coconut milk. This is slightly better though. Okay, so that's finally minced now. Now we're just gonna add our coconut, which is the pulp and the milk. We're gonna blend that again. I'll kind of make a nice green and sort of yellowy chutney, which we're gonna put our fish in and, and, and marinate. So let me do that, and I'll be back. Okay, there's our fantastic marination. Now what we're simply going to do is drop some fish in there. Give that a nice mix around. Now ideally you want to leave this overnight or a minimum of two hours. You need to get some cling fill or shrink wrap on the top of that refrigerate it and let it just do its work all of those flavors will seep in to that beautiful pommes frites fish I'll see you at the next stage okay so here's our fantastic marination I've left mine overnight I mean this fish is virtually cooked you know that it's been in that marination so long but simply just a little drain off of it let's get a little bit of corn flour on it so I'm going to repeat this process, then we're just going to go straight over to the cooker and fry this off. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So just shake a little excess off, not too much, you can keep some of it on there, into the corn flour or corn starch, depending on what you call it, it's exactly the same thing, and to the cooker. See you at the next stage. Okay, so I've coated all of the fish now. I've got some regular vegetable oil there. You can use any oil you'd like. I've got that on. Let's pop her in and see how she sounds. That's perfect. That's not crazy hot. I'm simply going to get our fish in there. Give it a shake so we know it's not sticking. And then two minutes aside, pretty much, and this is going to be done. I'll see you when I'm taking them out. Okay, let's turn the heat off. 
take these beautiful bits of pomfret fish out. I can say that was only like two to three minutes aside, so they're nice and golden brown. You can if you want. I haven't done it on this one, but you can add a semolina on top of the corn flour as well and fry that off. But uh, I prefer them just like this. They're beautifully crispy. They've got all that fantastic marination in there. These are going to be great. I'll see you at the table. Okay, there we have it. Absolutely delicious. That marination has made all the difference. If you can leave it like I did overnight, then, then these are just so much better. Minimum of two hours though. Okay, check out our other videos if you like. We've got hundreds and hundreds of different of recipes from around the world from different chefs. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Let us know how you get on with this dish. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.